Our journey starts in the wee hours, setting up a tent-like structure as a blind. Chad Pop with the DNR hears the birds before I can even get my camera set into place. Here's is coming. Is their vocalization attracting hands? The birds come out in the early morning for courtship. The males strutting around with colorful air sacs puffed out. The, uh, the males are, are, are booming, which means they're uh, doing vocalizations and strutting and, and flying and, and chattering their feet on the ground, trying to attract the females. Sometimes they even get into fights over the females. At one time, this site was much easier to find across Iowa, but as the prairie grass disappeared, so did the prairie chicken. In this area, there are only about 50 birds left. The reason they like this area is because it's, it's one of the last few places with a lot of grass and uh, uh, for the most part, treeless horizons. Uh, they don't like trees because of the avian predators. On the prairie here, a blind helped us to get really close to the birds. Uh, they're about 200 yards away, so spotting scopes and binoculars are a must. So if you don't mind the early morning and maybe a little wet grass, then come on down to Kellerton. These birds are really too busy to worry too much about who may be watching. Near Kellerton, Roger Riley, Channel 13 News.